Are you tired of eating dry, tasteless mashed potatoes? Well, I'll show you how to make an easy and tasty cream mashed potato dish. Coming up. Greetings and welcome back to my channel. Tim here again with another How To With Basics, bringing you another step-by-step -step guide in basic cooking. Today, we'll be making two options on an easy, quick-to-make, creamy mashed potato dish. The one option is faster, and just slightly more affordable for those on a tight budget, and the other, a little slower to prepare, but slightly more expensive. So, I shall leave the choices up to you to decide which option to go for. So, let's get cooking, shall we? Firstly, allow me to say one thing. Forget that whole theory about having to use the right type or a particular type of potato to make the creamiest, soft and tasty mashed potato. That is hogwash. I buy any type of potato that's going and use them all. Maybe I'm just a little snoop and only willing to pay the best price available in the supermarket. Either way, irrespective of the type of potato I use, my mash always comes out really nice, even if I have to say so myself, and I'm no fancy cook. So, I'll show you exactly how I do it, the easy, basic way. Now, calculate approximately one and a half average size potatoes per person that you are cooking for. Right, we're now going to peel the potatoes and once we've peeled them, we'll place them into a bowl of cool water so that they don't discolour. Right, we're using my newspaper trick over here because it keeps the work surface clean and tidy and it makes it a lot easier when we're picking up the peels to discard in the bin and of course it's environmental friendly. Right, we're just going to peel the potatoes and then place them into a bowl of cold water so that they don't discolour. Right, we'll now just take our potatoes and cut them up into smaller pieces. Uh, that way the potatoes will cook thoroughly, evenly and a lot faster. Now we'll add them to a pot of cold water, ensuring that they are well submerged. Then we'll add in about a teaspoon of, uh, of salt, it's not critical. You can always throw in a, 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 fair, a fair bit more. The first option I spoke about, I will show and tell you when we get to it. In the meantime, we'll move on to the second option, which is as follows. Now, whilst we're waiting upon the potatoes, we'll prepare the next step, of which we'll take a quarter mug of fresh milk, a quarter mug of fresh cream, about four or five slightly diced garlic cloves, and of course we'll use two sprigs of fresh rosemary. We then put this into a pot on a slow to a medium heat to enable the cloves and rosemary to infuse their flavours into the milk and cream mix. As I've stated before, we take in a quarter cup of, of milk. We'll take about a quarter cup of fresh cream, quarter to half a cup of fresh cream. That will dice up um, slightly about four cloves garlic and then our two sprigs of, uh, of rosemary we'll put that into into the milk I'll just break that a little then we'll put this pot onto a slow to medium heat uh, to enable the cloves and the rosemary to infuse their flavors into the milk 
and the cream mix. Now we have our milk and cream uh, mix here onto a medium heat. We'll just wait until we start to see some bubbles and then we can take it off. Right, that's the potatoes coming up to the boil. We'll turn it down now, just to simmer for about 10 minutes or so, till such time that the fork can slide into them easily. Right, this is looking perfect. We're now going to strain this through a sieve to remove any traces of maybe some milk skin along with the garlic cloves and the rosemary pieces. Now that the potatoes are ready, we shall put them into the colander and then we'll allow them to drain the excess water off. Right, now we'll transfer it then back to the hot pot. We'll just leave them in there for a few minutes and the hot pot will help to also dry up a little of the, um, the excess moisture. Right, now let's transfer the potatoes uh, to a bowl. And then I'm going to throw in a healthy portion uh, of butter. Now here you can always put in um, some margarine. Then just put a little dash of salt. Some ground black pepper. Then you can mash it well, either with a fork or you can use a, um, a potato masher. Now you want to make sure that there are no lumps at all and you're wanting it as smooth as you possibly can, making sure that your butter is well mixed up um, with it. Now that that is done, I'll separate the dish um, now to show you the two different options that I spoke about. Firstly now for the cheaper option um, you can either put in a dash of dried or some freshly uh, chopped parsley. Right, now you can just mix that up quite well, either with a fork or a masher again. Okay, that's fine. Now, as, I, as stated before, um, we're going to just put a dash of, of milk in with it and give it a good mix up and a good stir. So you can try and get it as nice and soft and creamy uh, as possible. Right, we'll come back to this. Right, now we're going to go on to our other option. Right, now here we're going to use our flavoured um, milk and, and cream mix. We're just going to add bit by bit to it. Once again, you give that a, just a good stir up. Good mix. Now you probably will actually have some milk and, and, and cream left over. Obviously I've, I'll have a fair amount of cream and milk left over because I've actually split um, my potato in two bowls so I could show you the, uh, the difference and the process. If you have got some left over just put it aside as you may need it later and I'll explain further on. Now let this stand for a few minutes uh, whilst you're sorting out whatever else it is that you're making for dinner. And then just before serving or dishing up for dinner, you need to recheck the mash's consistency. Okay, you may find that the mash 
has firmed up quite a bit as the potatoes will naturally absorb the liquids. If it's a little bit too thick for your liking, then this will apply to either of the two options. Just put a small dash of milk or a bit of the leftover of the flavoured milk and cream in with the mashed potatoes and then just give it a good stir up. You can then pop it into the microwave for a minute or so just to warm it then give it a little stir again just before serving. An added serving suggestion and another further option is sprinkle either a little bit of freshly chopped chives or even a few parsley leaves on top when serving it and you have an awesome creamy tasty mashed potato dish served on the table. We have now solved the problem of no more eating and feeding your family with boring tasteless mashed potatoes and they will love you for it. And let's be honest, you don't need to be a fancy cook with a big budget to throw something together cheaply and as tasty as any fine dining restaurant will give to you. This now brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. I do hope you've learned something new here today and if so, please leave a comment as your feedback is important in helping to improve the overall quality of material being presented. Remember, caring is sharing. So if you know someone that could benefit from this video, then show them that you care and share it with them as your help and support is appreciated. Now, don't forget to click the thumbs up, like button below, subscribe, hit the bell if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you next time with another how to with basics video. Bye.